Actually, a very friendly press. So I'll let that get you. Although we just lost the table. President Donald Trump playing nice with the media during a photo op with the South Korean president. An about face from this morning, clearly no regrets over his Twitter attacks on two MSNBC hosts as he goes after them again. And actor Joe Scarborough firing back, calling the president a liar. The back and forth between President Donald Trump and the hosts of MSNBC does not seem to stop. CBS 4's Meg Oliver is live in New York with the very latest. Meg? Elliot, that's right. The war of words continues today. In a Washington Post op-ed, the Morning Joe anchors said that President Trump lied about what happened at Mar-a-Lago and asked him to turn off their show. Yesterday was just another example of just how deeply personal he is. He attacks women. Morning Joe anchors Joe Scarborough and Mika Brzezinski delayed their vacation to respond to the Twitter attacks from President Trump. He's so easily played by a cable news host. Now, what is that saying to our allies? What is that saying to our enemies? Friday morning, the president jumped back into the feud. Just before 9 a.m., he tweeted, watch low-rated Morning Joe for first time in long time. Fake news. The president sparked a firestorm Thursday when he took to Twitter to call the show's anchors Low IQ Mika and Psycho Joe. He claimed Brzezinski was bleeding badly from a facelift when she visited Mar-a-Lago this past winter. In addition to returning to work, the Morning Joe host wrote this op-ed in the Washington Post, characterizing Mr. Trump's actions as an unrelenting assault against women. Lawmakers from both sides of the aisle were quick to call out the president. He demeans women, but more than that, he has demeaned himself. What we're trying to do around here is improve the tone and the civility of the debate. Uh, and this obviously doesn't help do that. White House spokeswoman Sarah Huckabee Sanders defended Mr. Trump, arguing he's just pushing back against people who attack him every day. More than one lawmaker noted that Mrs. Trump picked cyberbullying as a cause. But on Thursday, the first lady defended her husband, saying that when he gets attacked, he will punch back 10 times harder. Elliot? We're all trying to understand this. Meg, thank you for that live update from New York. And take a look at the front page of the New York Daily News. It paints a grim picture of the Trump presidency. The headline reading, humiliation with a bald eagle with its head down. A headline reading, Trump's new low sexist facelift rant versus TV host. We should note this paper has been critical of Mr. Trump for a long time and routinely mocks him.